Hi, this is Elise for Studio Calico, and this video is going to talk briefly about my process with Project Life and how it's changed over the past three years. I started doing Project Life in 2012, uh, and then I did it for two years on a very similar format. I used the standard Design A pocket pages, and it included a title card in the top left, and then photos. Um, generally seven four by six photos and then a bunch of three by four cards or three by four photos and that is pretty much the format that I stuck with for a full year um, in 2012 and then I did it again in 2013 and I liked this format I liked the weekly format a lot um, it gave me space to include inserts when I wanted or I could just fill in the week um, you know as we kind of moved through it and it was fun I, I, when I look back through my albums from these first two years I love them um, kind of an irrational amount um, and I loved that I would include different things like I'm showing here our house story um, those were just included as eight and a half by eleven page protectors and all sorts of random details, slides and Valentine cards and all sorts of things. Um, it was fun. It was really fun <laughs> um, and I really enjoyed it. Um, but then what happened was I had a baby and my life became a lot busier than it was and I realized that in order to be able to do what I enjoyed on a daily basis, I had to figure out how I could make this project make a little bit more sense. So I wrapped up 2013 and I continued to just go with the weekly format because that was what I was used to. And then when we started 2014, I decided that if I was going to keep with this project, I was going to need to rework it completely. And what I've been doing now is approaching it on a much more monthly basis. So instead of doing one layout a week, I do a few layouts a month. And it takes me about the same amount of time to do a month as it used to take me to do a week. Because once you're sitting down to work, it's pretty fast, right? So it's just committing to doing that once a month instead of once a week. And when I transitioned to once a month, I decided to let go of the design a traditional style. Um, and instead what I do is I let the photos really dictate what I have. So I'm taking a ton of iPhoto photos now. <laughs> and uh, most of those end up being vertical and they fit great in the 3 by 4 sizes. So I do a ton of this, this checkerboard with the alternating cards and photos. And I just go ahead and I sew design A pocket pages into smaller 3 by 4 pockets. And then I include lots of 12 by 12s and here are a couple of random layouts that were included. And then if I have a bunch of photos that I can group by style, I go ahead and create an entire layout around that. So these are all me and Ellery and then I just use decorative pockets up top. So what I'm focused on now is what sort of photos do I have? 99% of the time I have vertical iPhone photos. Great, I'm gonna use a bunch of three by four pockets. What do I have? I have film photos, perfect. Those I'll crop down to squares and I'll stick them in um, squared pockets. Or, you know, here are a bunch of photos that I really wanna highlight, so I'm gonna print them a little bit bigger and use something that'll, go, that'll fit well there. My focus is not on uh, getting it all in, that I realize is impossible. My focus now is on just including what feels fun to us and doing it in a way that stays interesting to me. I think why this project can be kind of daunting after a while is you run out of energy. So even though I love what I was doing um, in the early couple years, I'm now bored. <laughs> and to keep going, I have to just play with different formats. And so what I'm trying to do as I'm working on this project is just find something that keeps it interesting to me. And right now that's making the focus on the photos. Um, it's only worrying about some of my favorite photos from the month or the photos that I feel like tell a great story. And then it's using what I have on hand. So if I have some random design D, I'm going to use those. If I have random design J, I'm going to use those. And I'm, I'm working 
to make this as seamless as possible. And the only way I'm going to be able to stick with it for any long term chance <laughs> is if it's not hard and if it's not complicated. And so to me, that just means what do I got? I have some vertical photos. Perfect. Stick those in. I have some horizontal photos. Great. Stick those in. And it's just playing. Um, and making it feel like this project is interesting and exciting and not the same thing over and over.